Hey, it's Tom from Tom's Tunes. If you are learning from these videos, you're enjoying them, please like and subscribe. Comment below with things that you want to learn about on your pontoon project. This is a hot topic. This comes up all the time. It prevents a lot of people from tackling their own job redoing their pontoon boat. This control box is for a Mercury or Mariner. It's a Quicksilver box. What you're gonna see coming out of it is a bigger rubber wrapped electrical harness that says my trim tilt wires in it, my ignition, a whole bunch of important stuff. Runs all the way back to the engine and then our shift throttle cables, which are here, they run back to the engine as well. This other wire coming out is a gauge harness that you may or may not have. If you have gauges, this is probably sticking out uh, underneath your dash or from your control box. But what we're doing with this is I'm gonna pull everything out from the engine so I can reroute everything through the floor. This is a late 80s, early 90s, I don't know the exact year. It's a Mariner, but it was made by Mercury in that era, so this is gonna look identical to a lot of Mercury's. What you typically have is that same main wire harness that ran back from the dash or from your shift throttle box, your ignition switch. You're typically gonna have something that holds that in place. In this case, it's a little U-bracket. A lot of times in the newer ones, it's gonna rest in the hood because this is a clamshell that comes off, but you'll have a little, uh, little cup here in your hood with a rubber grommet. You're gonna remove that. So this is gonna be our first thing. We're gonna get our electrical harness undone. I've got to where I can free up my main electrical harness go figure this is a different type of bolt than is in the bottom we have a phillips head in the bottom flat head in the top but i'm going to just put this back so that it's in place so that i don't lose anything i don't lose track and the best thing you can do is take some pictures of how everything's laid out before or routed so that you can repeat that when you're putting things back together our next step is on hooking the plug so anything here we could label these plugs I just take a piece of blue tape if I'm not sure where they go and put an A for the green that was connected here. I would put an A on a piece of tape around this wire so that when I come back to hooking back up, we're ready to go. Otherwise, take a nice clear picture, something you can repeat. This is our really common, and especially in an older Mercury or Mariner, even up until the early 2000s, this eight pin harness. So this is your ignition harness. It pulls through the boat nicely. So it's an easy one on this boat to know I'm gonna go ahead and I'm just gonna pull this through. Now I've got that free. These other cables that are coming in were my battery cables and my trim. We come around to this side. Mercury and Mariner made this really easy to do. So we have a throttle cable that's hooked to our throttle body. I'm just gonna undo. This happens to be a 10 millimeter. Usually it's either 3 8 inch or 10 mil. Take that nut off and then I can, with this clip here, I can pop that right off. That's holding my shift throttle cables in place. So this is my shift on the bottom to the shift mechanism. I can just pull my throttle cable out. If the black coupler comes with it, not the end of the world, I'm gonna stick that back in. That just holds those cables in place by this bullet. And then I can loosen my shift cable. Pop that off. If you needed to, you could label them, but when you're using your uh, control box, you can always push the shift and see which one moves first or increase the throttle and see which one moves first to identify those. I'm gonna put those nuts back on so I don't lose track of them. And I did put the coupler back in. I'm gonna go ahead and close this. If you break this off, it's not uncommon. It's a plastic piece, gets brittle. It's only a $5 part. Go to your local marina, you can get a new one. I'm gonna pull this off. Now, just that quick and easy, I can run everything out through the pontoon. If I'm putting in a new control box or new wires or anything, I could run those through the floor, or in this case, we're reusing them. I'll run them through the floor back to the engine and reconnect when we're ready to do so. Something to keep in mind, and I think this is something that's gonna help a lot of folks out there, is that your ignition harness for your engine should and is typically completely separate from the harness of wires that control all of your electronics, your stereo. It typically is on a separate lead to the battery for your accessory stuff, your dash panel switches, all of that. If you're redoing your boat top to bottom and you're gonna replace your electrical, rip all of that accessory harness out, everything that connects to lights, speakers, whatever, 
take that on out, keep this one in great shape and take care of it so we can run it back through and reuse it. Also keep in mind, if you're redoing your boat and reconfiguring the layout, there's a good chance that you're gonna have to replace your shift and throttle cables, maybe even your steering cable, uh, when you are rerouting everything. So if you moved your console forward, good chance you're gonna have to re replace with some longer cables. One last thing to keep in mind, this is a mercury gauge harness. This plugs in under the helm at the key switch, or it would plug into the back of my control box like on this motor. This has a series of wires, different colors, but our main ones you're gonna use are purple as a key on power, gray as a tachometer sender, and black as your ground. When you get to your gauges, if you're gonna replace your gauges, just cut as close to your gauges as possible. You're gonna leave purple, gray, black wires, maybe a blue wire in there too, which powers your lights, your backlighting for your uh, gauges. But I'm gonna cut just like you see here. This was cut from the old gauges. I taped this together so I keep it. And what we'll do is when we re redo our gauges, they typically come with a harness. If you order the gauge package from pontoonstuff.com, there is a harness that you're just gonna plug and play, splice these back in and your gauges will power from the original harness. This is one of the gauge packages from pontoonstuff.com, but whichever one you order, they're gonna look similar on the back side. So they already are wired for you. You have your three wires that are gonna come off. Your purple is key on power, black is ground, gray in this case is the tack sender. This is gonna wire in. The tack sender signal is gonna go all the way to the tack, but your purple, your key on power, is gonna come into one of the gauges and then piggyback across, same thing with your ground. Piggyback across, that's that blue wire I was talking about. That just powers the light bulbs in the backs of the gauges. Very straightforward, very simple to tap into your existing harness. So don't overthink it. It looks really complicated. You might have a bird's nest of a mess underneath. Separate what goes to the engine in terms of gauges, main harness, shift and throttle cables, and work on that first or start with your accessory electrical, your stereo, your harness with all your different colored wires for navigation lights, docking lights, accessories, bilge pumps, that sort of thing. You can always start with that too and pull all of that out of the way and then work through your motor side. Don't overcomplicate it. Take lots of pictures, label things if you're unsure so you can reconnect them later.